that if you are an asset manager with assets under management with over $100 billion asset under management, you should not be able to buy single family homes and rent them back to people. So that's a huge problem is Blackstone is coming in, purchasing single family homes and renting them back. I think that's a huge problem. What's up YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today guys, we're back giving to a new video. Today we're going to be checking out homes can be affordable again with, with one simple solution. This is by Charlie Kick. I call him Charlie Kick because you love kicking us. Let's get right to today's video. So I'm just wondering, uh, since you were saying that housing is a problem for a lot of Americans, what is, there, there's, as far as I've seen, there's kind of two right-wing housing policies, which is one, there sh we should reduce, um, how do you say, we should reduce- Low income? Yeah. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm saying uh, should we re you should reduce regulations on housing, yes. allow more housing to be built, um, and two is sort of that we should do government-funded suburbia type stuffs. What is, what's your opinion on how we should solve the housing crisis? Yeah. Well, first of all, we have to stop creating cheap money. So the more money you have in the money supply, money has to find a home. And money finds home in tangible assets because there's only so many tangible assets. So I'll prove it to you. This is why gold, silver, copper, the stock market, and homes are priced more, but they're actually not worth more than they were four years ago. So the price of it goes up more because we've, we're creating $8 trillion every four years artificially and boosting the money supply. So we have to get federal spending under control, something that Republicans don't want to do and Democrats don't want to do. And the Federal Reserve is just intent on continually pumping in cheap money into the market. So that's number one. Number two, at least in Arizona, we have to take back federal land from the federal government and give it to states. And we have to try to build out horizontally and not as much vertically. Um, so I don't know if that would be popular around here, but uh, in Arizona especially, the, the, the federal government controls actually the majority of the state of Arizona. So do you have a thought on that? Uh, the the one I guess uh, thing about building out uh, horizontally instead of vertically is that um, there's been a couple of theories posited around. I'm not sure if you've uh, you, you might have seen them. I mean, it's that uh, building out horizontally essentially means that the tax revenue in local uh, in municipalities ends up being not enough to pay for the services you're providing. Yeah, it, it depends. Yeah, it depends on what community and what the income level is, right, and what your social service demand is. But I think we would all agree that there is a cost to hyper urbanization. And, and hyper urbanization is very expensive. I think you get very bad politics for it, but you don't have to agree with that. Um, you get very dense populations. You get hyper radical ideas. You get a lot of homelessness and a lot more crime. Um, I think that every single person in this audience should be able to own property, have kids if they want, and get married if they want. Those things are increasingly out of reach for a generation. So it's not like I don't think we have to overcomplicate the housing uh, situation. I think we'd also agree on this that if you are an asset manager with assets under management, with over $100 billion asset under management, you should not be able to buy single family homes and rent them back to people. So that's a huge problem is Blackstone is coming in, purchasing single family homes and renting them back. I think that's a huge problem. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, this was an interesting topic about housing. It's it's, it's really, really matters for us to um, plan ahead for the future because it's, it's getting really more tough. Like, it's getting tough for people to own a house nowadays because the price of housing is skyrocketing off the roof. So I love how Charlie stated the fact um, what is really causing it to um, skyrocket. The issues we are having, for how we're going to solve it so the future generation will not suffer more about find, trying to find a home for them to sleep so they will be able to buy a house for themselves. The aspect of people buying houses, family houses, also um, renting out for people, it, it, it's, it's really, really terrible. But for some certain people, it's, it's, it's business. They're making enough money. But at the same time, it's, it's increasing this um, aspect of those um, home being costly to buy and not cheap. That's part of the reasons why homes are very expensive. It's, it's, it's business, but at the same time, it's, it's really affecting us indirectly. Um, this is a topic we should actually look into, and also inflation. Inflation happens. You can't you can't just hold it. Whenever inflation happens, price of everything skyrockets. Food, drinks, everything skyrockets, and also housing prices also goes up the roof. So it's it's something that we should look into. It should be told. It's something we should look into, and. It worries people about the future. So this this was actually an interesting topic to to listen to. I love how Charlie kind of like breaks it down. It makes me have a clearer picture about 
about why housing is increasing in price, like, and how we should kind of like avoid it. But this is a political game. Like, it's there's no way you can avoid inflation. Subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up, share this video as many as can. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just bought a bag, like an old lady. I'm back, wood smoking. I don't own papers, pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitch, in my bed. I got scales on.